This one is Ndole. As Cameroonian, we felt that we couldn't find um, you know, our home cuisine, so Cameroonian cuisine. So we decided uh, to set up uh, the restaurant. We cook Ndole with uh, tunet. You know, our food has a lot of flavors and have a lot of spices. Not extremely the hot one, but spices. For us, a matter of, of, of uh, connecting with, with Kenyans and sharing our cuisine with Kenyans because we know, we, we realize, you know, um, apart from football, uh, they know very little about our cuisine. Hi guys, my name is Linda Esomba and uh, welcome to La Sauce Restaurant who is the Cameroonian cuisine. So my name is Eric Parfait Somba and I'm the co-founder of uh, Lasso's Restaurant. I actually founded the restaurant with my wife Linda. Um, the reason why we decided to, um, to found this restaurant is really because we've been living in Kenya for, past, for the past uh, four years. And uh, in, I mean, Nairobi is a global city. I mean, you can find any type of cuisine in Nairobi, all the way from Japanese to um, Peruvian cuisine. However, uh, as Cameroonian, we felt that we couldn't find um, you know, our home cuisine, so Cameroonian cuisine. And we were kind of uh, sick from um, having you know, home food. And we also realized it wasn't just us. Uh, there was also a few friends and, and, and people around us who are craving for having Cameroonian food. So we decided uh, a couple of years ago to, um, to set up uh, the restaurant. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare the Cameroonian cuisine, which is ndole, eru, and um, plantain. Yes. Here I have uh, beef and the, the skin of beef. And this one is the peanut. Uh, this is spinach, and this one is okok. Oh, this one is Ndole. And for us, um, beyond being a business, it's really for us a matter of, of, of uh, connecting with, with Kenyans and sharing our cuisine with Kenyans because we know, we, we realize, you know, um, Kenyans, you know, um, know about Nigerians, uh, they know about um, South Africans, but they know very little about. Cameroon, Cameroon uh, apart from football, uh, they don't very little about our cuisine, uh, especially. So we really came up with the idea of, uh, you know, setting a business that will be, um, you know, a space where, you know, people come together, um, Cameroonian, uh, Kenyans and people from all over the world to have a, a, a test of what Cameroonian cuisine is about. So, yeah, this is how uh, we have ended up here. Okay, today we have a two type of uh sauce. We have uh, aero, we cook, we cook aero with uh, okok and spinach and thyme oil. And dole, we cook dole with uh, tunet. We use this one, leeks, onion and uh, ginger and garlic. I have already crushed that one here. So we've been operational since March 30th. Uh, we had a grand opening here with you know people coming from all over the place uh, yeah, across Nairobi, um, and uh, so we've been operational for a month and a half now. And um, you know, especially I mean, at the beginning, um, it was people were quite quite apprehensive about our cuisine uh, because unfortunately, West African cuisine is known 
Alison came here to be extremely spicy and, and have a lot of uh, pepper, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and being extremely hot. Yeah. So uh, people were a little bit apprehensive, but then um, uh, after a week, uh, more people start to come uh, as they start, you know, to to really taste what we are offering in terms of food and um, the spice, uh, the way the flavors are way different from what people are used to in Nairobi. Uh, based on that, I think, um, I mean, we had a few people who came here, celebs who came here, you know, had, I mean, dined with us, and then we, we went viral a couple of times on social medias, and uh, after that, you know, it's been, it's been picking. Uh, people have been coming here, uh, you know, with their families, you know, people with, um, yeah, their families, their friends. Uh, we've had um, diplomats uh, coming to have uh, parties, uh, birthday being celebrated. So yeah, uh, it's really getting where we want it to be, um, to be a space where people can gather around the food. And we have brought a few concepts uh, around gatherings that um, I hope to, you know, uh, details more. We start with uh, Ndole. We are, we are doing a, a mixed up and the reason uh, is again um, it, it was a I mean as a startup you, you need to start you know very slow with um, things that people are familiar very familiar with however we did ensure that we have at least a couple of uh, signature meals from Cameroon as part of uh, you know our offering uh, right now we have um, three to four signature Cameroon meal that are very known, that are extremely popular, and people have been enjoying it. And surprisingly, you know, we thought uh, our offering would be primarily for Cameroonians, I mean, at least for the signature dishes. But then we are very surprised that Kenyans are also picking them, uh, and, 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 and also other um, and people from different, different backgrounds are really picking on those as well. You know, our food has a lot of flavors and have a lot of spices. Not extremely hot one, but spices. Uh, some of them can be found here because there are a few West African, you know, shops, you know, that has some ingredient. However, the ingredient we, we can find here. And uh, usually we will outsource them whenever, you know, uh, we have uh, families or friends that are traveling, you know, um, to, to Cameroon. We will make sure that, you know, they bring you know, as part of the, their luggage, you know, something uh, for us that would help uh, to keep up, you know, uh, the quality of uh, the food that we're offering. I would say, I mean, as any other business, uh, our vision is to grow bigger than uh, where we are. However, I feel like even if we, we grow um, or we expand to or venture into other areas of Nairobi, I don't think we will be necessarily leaving this place. And the reason why we don't want to leave this part of, of Nairobi is really because this is where we are. We feel rooted, you know. We feel connected, and we've built a community here. Uh, there are people who came here and said, "You know what? Thank you so much for setting up this type of restaurant in this part of Nairobi." Because uh, in most of the time, when we want to dine in, uh, when, when we want to dine out, we go all the way to uh, to Kilimani, Kileleshwa, uh, Lavington, and Westland. Right? Uh, we barely uh, have, you know places 
where we can have you know good food uh, on this side of town. So, uh, in as much as we plan as any other business to grow, we will still uh, we will still trying to make sure we have some roots uh, in this part of town. I mean, in this part of uh, Nairobi. So we are located at Kemo, Kiambo Road, or along Kiambo Road, um, next, I mean, next to uh, Tidigua area. So that's where we are located. Yes, we do deliveries and uh, we've uh, partnered so far with Glovo. Uh, we are currently in discussion with the other platforms as well. I uh, don't want to maybe name all of them, but uh, we are discussing with, uh, with a few brands to help us uh, to do deliveries, but also ourselves. I mean, we want to. We also want to have our own delivery, um, you know, system in place. Uh, so hopefully, that would also uh, be in place soon. But uh, as we speak now, uh, we do have a lot of, um, you know, deliveries that we've been doing along this area, but also all the way to Kilimani, Kilileshwa, and uh, yeah, Lavington. Okay, we are now putting the the dole. That dole, yes. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't leave your idea in your, in your mind and your head. You know, uh, try, try it out. It's difficult. I know, you know, it's difficult times now. The economy, you know, uh, it's a bit slow these days. However, uh, don't let your ideas die in your, in your, in your head, right? And I think that's what we've done. Um, it took us two years, it took us a couple of years. And I can tell you it wasn't an easy journey. However, we are actually grateful of that journey because uh, it has actually um, built our resilience uh, to situations, to the unknown, to the unexpected. Um, so I would say to every, anyone out there, uh, uh, especially in Kenya, where actually the business, the, the business um, you know, environment, it's, it's kind of conducive. I mean, if you have ideas, if you have the resources, at least you can go and knock those and you can be given a platform to put your ideas down. And I think if you have um, yeah, those ideas, um, talk to the right people, uh, connect with the right people, and uh, hey, don't, don't kill your idea in your mind. Go out there, uh, try. And if it doesn't work, at least you'll learn, right? So um, yeah, that's pretty much you know, what I could say to people. Like, hey, if you have ideas, go and talk to people. If you don't have the resources, go and talk to the people who, with the resources. I can tell you, for instance, that um, uh, at some point when it was really tough for us, hey, we, we went and, 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 and talked to you know, uh, institutions with resources, you know, and some of them were, were kind enough to listen to us. Um, so, yeah.
also we have this fish. It's also is the is the dry fish. We call it mbunga. We call that fish mbunga. In yes. So, fun fact, I don't work with her. <laughs> she runs the business. Entirely. She runs the business. I mean, she's really the, she's really, uh, the, the, the master of the show, right? Yeah. So, I'm, I'm just a talker, honestly. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just the PR guy, you know, I'm just the connector, if you want, right? Yeah. But they, they actually, the actual, um, you know, uh, the wow. person who really run the show, who is, who do, um, who does you know her best when it comes to, to cuisine it's, it's really my wife i mean she is knowledgeable about you know her spices her stuff so yeah i mean she she hung her, her show and uh yeah maybe from time to time when she wants you know uh, she wants some doors to be open you know that's where i'll give some support but hey i'm not really the one behind the scene <laughs> we are now ready to serve and this is how to serve the food at La Sauce. And this is Ndole. 